I came here in the summer in July, early July of 1958. Um, I had just been married one week and my husband Tom was a graduate student for Dr. Green and was working with Dr. Green in the lab. Uh, so that was my first time and we came again in 59 and in 60. And when we came in 1960 I had a little girl who was six weeks old and we, at that time, the mess hall was, um, looked, was uh, looked over by a Miss, Miss Bell, and she would uh, be watching Joan in her little crib there while we ate. And she told me at the time that she was the youngest that they had ever had at the mess hall. But I think since then there have been even younger right. babies here. Um, but, you know, just being surrounded by the Woods Hole community in the summertime, uh, I, meeting people from all over the world, I became friends with people who came from Rome, from the Stazione Zoological in Rome, and they came here every summer. Um, they had little children, the children grew, went to science school, they grew they went to college and finally the parents would come without children because they were now adults. So it, my friendships really spanned years, years uh, over the summer with people who came from different places. Um, I, I met the Burgoses from Argentina. Uh, he was working with um, Shelley Siegel and uh, Luigi Mastroianni in, uh, in uh, fertilization experiments and uh, it just broadened my view having not just Tom who was a scientist and doing all the research and I knew what he was doing but meeting people who were in different fields and uh, really learning about the very beginnings of things that you learn about in school but you never know how they first came about it was a thrilling experience. Well, if you could speak to my children, I have three, all of them will tell you that they absolutely love Woods Hole. Um, my son Andrew met his wife here at Swope um, when they were both working during the summer. Eventually they married and they couldn't think of any place that they would rather live other than Woods Hole and this is where they are and they've raised, they're raising four children now here in Woods Hole and Andrew is an architect in Falmouth, uh, Integrata Architecture. Uh, Joan married um, um, a young man who was uh, an engineer and eventually became interested in, in uh, the biogenetic field and so he just loves to be in Woods Hole. They both have a summer home here now, and he's currently on the Board of Overseers here at the NBL. And Paul, Paul absolutely adored Woods Hole, um, although he lives in Atlanta. Every time he comes here in the summer, the first thing he does is go up to the attic and gets his fishing poles and is out fishing because he always loved to fish. And I think if it were up to him, he would also be living in Woods Hole. Oh, there are several. I recall when my children were young, they decided on a hobby, and the hobby was to get the autographs of the Nobel laureates that they knew here at Woods Hole. I mean, what kind of a hobby is that? That's spectacular. And sometimes I recall they wanted, they, they came across a, a unexpectedly meeting a, a Nobel laureate and they didn't have their book, so what did they have? They got their autograph on a napkin. And so these were special times. And as so many children here who spend a summer in Woods Hole, they grew up going to science school. And eventually each of them ended up being an assistant in science school. So, so much of their lives, too, were impacted by their, their lives here at Woods Hole.
After we built the house in 1974, definitely I knew that this was where I would want to live. It was a second home. Um, and my husband loved it also, and after he retired, he always had a library desk. So he's always had an association with the MBL. But he never wanted to totally let go of New York, so he always insisted we keep our place in New York, even if we only stay there three months out of the year. At least, I think he felt close to all the wonderful things that he liked in New York as well. So we really had the best of two great worlds. Uh, he was uh, in the red blood, red blood cell. The red blood cell was his interest. Um, and there were times here that he was working with the goosefish, and the goosefish is a very cold water animal, and there were times when I think the whole summer he got six goosefish. Uh, so he, he eventually worked with other species as well. But I remember the goosefish because, have you ever seen a goosefish? It's a very ugly looking fish. Half, half of this big fish's mouth with teeth. When Tom passed away, and he passed away here in Woods Hole, uh, he's buried at the Church of the Messiah, which he had attended all of his time in Woods Hole, so he was a member there for a long 25, 30, 35 years. Um, so he was buried here at Woods Hole, um, at the Church of the Messiah. And at the time, we decided when he passed away that he loved the MBL so much that we established an endowment in his name. So I think he'll always be remembered for his love of the library.